go everybody, Jordan Adams here, showing the cost the Cyanogen mod 10.1 for the Galaxy S4 Mini. Yep, it's the mini version. But yeah, um, yeah. So you know, <laughs> all right. Let's begin then. Right, it's basically, <laughs> yeah. So you get a whole new lock screen. Um, yeah, I'll quick toggles as well. Um, yeah, I'll quick toggles. Um, yeah, right. So with the Cyanogen mod, you get a whole different new. Well, you get the custom launcher. Um. You get all different widgets and whatnot, but watch out because see if you do install this, it will with the dual core with the one point three gigahertz. <coughs> now the one point three gigabytes of RAM data, you don't get that anymore. <coughs> um, because um. It uploads its own kernel, a RAM thing file, whatever it is. Um, yeah, but um, basically, <coughs> what you do get though is a lot of cool features. You can change the themes, which is pretty awesome. This one partially works in the Play Store, but um, oh no, that's music. Uh, Play Store's there. You just get orange writing. That's about it. Um, <coughs> now that's root browser settings themes. Let me change it back quickly. Yeah, a whole different notification center. You get all your little toggle tweaks up here as well. And if you slide down from the right, you get a whole lot of them. Yeah. Um, also, the camera app. Don't know if you can. Yeah, you can actually use it in that. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. And you got a flashlight toggle as well. You got your Wi Fi, your signal, even, there's even an LTE toggle and also an NFC toggle. <coughs> um, you can customize everything on your home screen, like grid size and whatnot. Um, this one is the 4.2.2 .2 version, so um, it's still quite fast as well. Um, also, like, there was a whole, like, different UI tweaks and everything like that. Um, <coughs> all your volume keys and whatnot are changed. You get a super user app already built in. You can, like, set your overclock speeds and whatnot. Um, to, well... Basically, almost whatever you want, but if fully clocked. Um, what else is there? Um, yeah. Um, I don't know your settings and whatnot. You can do like all the Cyanogen mod updates and whatnot. But yeah. Um. Also, same things apply for that. The developer mod, um, but once you activate that, you get the performance and the developer options. So, um, yeah, it's quite cool in that. Also, like all like your battery style, you can get the other things in that. 
can also hide it. You can hide that as well. Bye. Yeah? Go sit over that. Okay. All right, hold on. Sorry, that was my girlfriend. Um, yeah. Uh, but, um, yeah. So you've also got your brightness control. You can show and hide the clock as well, which is pretty neat. Um, you can also set, like, different power things as well when you reboot menu and whatnot. Um, hold up. No, uh, that works. No, that one doesn't do it. Um, oh, you can also put screenshot mode on it because the standard da, 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 doesn't really work. Um, <laughs> you can get a clock widget on your lock. You can you can choose what you want on your lock screen. Quick settings panel. Change all. What we're gonna put down. Um, let's have a look. What ones have I got? Okay, so I put sync down there. You know I've got your phone! Where is it? Here! Do I have it? Yeah. And that's it. 